Understanding Helicopter Flight Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of helicopters, exploring how they fly, the intricacies of their controls, and the mechanics behind their maneuverability. Helicopters achieve flight through the principle of aerodynamics, utilizing rotating wings or rotor blades to generate lift. Unlike fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters can take off and land vertically, hover in place, and maneuver in tight spaces, making them incredibly versatile flying machines. At the heart of every helicopter is its main rotor system. This system consists of large horizontal blades attached to a central mast. As the rotor blades spin, they create lift by generating airflow over their surfaces, much like the wings of an airplane. There are several types of rotor attachments, including articulated, semi-rigid, and fully rigid systems. Articulated rotor systems allow the blades to flap, feather, and lead lag independently, providing greater stability and control. Semi-rigid systems offer a balance between flexibility and rigidity, while fully rigid systems provide maximum precision but require more complex engineering. The engine of a helicopter is directly linked to the main rotor system through a transmission system. This transmission system transfers power from the engine to the rotor blades, allowing them to rotate at varying speeds to generate lift. Additionally, some helicopters feature a tail rotor, which is also linked to the engine and helps counteract the torque produced by the main rotor. Helicopters are powered by various types of engines, including piston engines, turboshaft engines, and turboprop engines. Piston engines are commonly found in smaller, light helicopters, while turboshaft engines are favored for their high power-to-weight ratio and reliability in larger helicopters. Turboprop engines, which combine features of both turbine and propeller-driven engines, are sometimes used in specialized applications. Controlling a helicopter involves manipulating the pitch of the rotor blades to change the direction and magnitude of lift. This is achieved using the collective and cyclic controls. The collective control adjusts the pitch of all rotor blades simultaneously, controlling the overall lift produced by the helicopter. The cyclic control, typically located on the pilot's side, varies the pitch of individual rotor blades as they rotate around the mast, allowing for directional control and maneuverability. Helicopters are highly maneuverable aircraft, capable of performing a wide range of aerial maneuvers, including hovering, banking, climbing, and descending. The ability to adjust the pitch of the rotor blades independently enables precise control over the helicopter's movement in all three axes, pitch, roll, and yaw. To achieve maneuverability, pilots adjust the pitch of the rotor blades dynamically during flight. Increasing the pitch angle generates more lift on one side of the rotor disc, causing the helicopter to tilt in that direction. By varying the pitch angles of the rotor blades cyclically and collectively, pilots can control the helicopter's orientation and perform complex maneuvers with precision. In conclusion, Helicopters are remarkable aircraft that rely on sophisticated mechanical systems and precise control mechanisms to achieve flight. 
From the linkage between the engine and the rotor system to the manipulation of rotor blade pitch for maneuverability, every aspect of helicopter design plays a crucial role in their ability to hover, maneuver, and navigate through the skies. We hope this video has provided you with a deeper understanding of how helicopters work and the science behind their incredible capabilities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on aviation and technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.